Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are again with another weekly beta roundup, starting off with the Windwalker Monk buffs. Yes, Windwalker Monks are finally getting more changes, which is great to see. First, we have Energizing Elixir, which has been removed from the global cooldown. Always a great change. Uh, Spinning Crane Kick now gets an extra stack for its damage scaling, so it's up to 6 from 5, giving it 60% damage scaling, up from 50%. Haste now also scales with Zwen's Crackling Tiger Lightning. Uh, and then Weapons of Order and Fey Line Stomp both saw buffs. On top of this, we have some bug fixes to Rising Sun Kick, uh, as well as Zwen scaling again, which should see uh, the monks getting a damage increase. They've also acknowledged the buggy mess that is Storm Earth and Fire, so hopefully we do see some fixes for that in the near future. Moving on, we have our Butterfly DKs, and they hit a nerf, at least for Blood and Unholy. Uh, so the stacks now don't instantly occur when you drop down Death's Dew. Uh, it now applies when you use your corresponding ability, so Heart Strike, Scourge Strike, or Obliterate. Frost DKs did see Obliterate get a, a buff with Death's Dew, as it will now hit one additional target inside Death's Dew. Uh, so that's an interesting change uh, and it might actually be uh, much better now for something like two-handed frost uh, but we'll see how the nerfs play out it's looking like uh, competitive dks may not have to be fairies anymore uh, but it's still up in the air if this is better than the venthyr ability from there we also saw changes to warlock covenant abilities soul rot uh, saw a sizable buff it had the 20 percent health cost removed from it it still has a minor mana cost and it also now uh, got a pretty decent damage buff on the primary target decimating bolt saw nerfs for destro and affliction as it now only affects one drain soul down from three and it takes a nerf if destro warlocks take the fire and brimstone talent uh, for demo it did get a bit of a buff as it now interacts with demon bolt Moving on from Warlocks, we have Hunters. Hunters also saw buffs to three of their Covenant abilities, uh, starting with Resonating Arrow. It now deals initial damage uh, on top of the 30% uh, increased Critical Strike chance. And the effect for Line of Sight persists for four seconds when targets leave the area. Wild Spirits also saw a bunch of changes. It now deals initial damage. Uh, targets in the area all get Hunter's Mark applied to them. And also, whenever you use an ability inside the area, it deals nature damage to five nearby targets. It definitely sounds like it could be a solid option for Mythic Plus, but we'll see how the numbers turn out. Lastly, there's a small but important change to Flayed Shot. It now causes your kill shots to be free when it procs, uh, which is a great change and definitely makes it more useful uh, in phases where your kill shot is already usable. The MM Hunter's current big problem was with their focus regen. They were focus starved a lot, and that'll help a lot with that. Next, Rogues saw a new ability, uh, Slaughter, which was their previous Venther ability, has been replaced with Flagellation. Uh, flagellation is an instant cast that has a 25 second cooldown that doesn't start until Flagellation is removed from the target. And basically, it deals shadow damage to the target and applies a 45 second debuff that causes an additional burst of shadow damage for each combo point you spend. Once you've done this 25 times or more, you can reactivate the ability to get a 10% mastery buff for 25 seconds. Sounds like it could be very good for single target, uh, but we'll have to see how that plays out on the actual beta server. From here, we have a bunch of smaller changes to uh, covenant abilities to shamans, demon hunters, and mages. So shamans, they saw a damage nerf to Fade Transfusion, as well as Vesper Totem. Uh, they saw a damage buff to Chain Harvest. And then they saw Primordial Wave having its cast time removed. It is now instant cast. From there, we have Demon Hunters, who saw a pretty sizable buff to Elysian Decree. That's over two and a half times the damage. Um, they also saw a small buff to Sinful Brand. Uh, and a pretty big buff to the hunt, though the hunt is now capped at five enemies. Mages also saw uh, a change to their Mirrors of Torment, which is the Venthyr ability. 
It now also grants something based on what your spec is. So Frost may just get uh, some brain freeze timer after it, uh, one mirror dies. Fire mages get a fire blast cooldown reduction when a mirror dies. And arcane mages get some mana. And the last uh, little thing I wanted to cover was arms got a bit of a quality of life change in this beta build. Uh, basically Colossus Smash and their Warbreaker talent now also apply deep wounds, which will help them in AoE situations and sweeping strike situations. Uh, but that is it for today's beta update, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe or follow me on Twitter at Tactics, and I will see you guys in the next video.